Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about negative and positive rules for multiplication and division. So the rules are pretty consistent, so let's get right to it. Now, multiplication and division are very similar in terms of how they work, so let's discuss them right now. So first of all, the one thing to consider is if the two numbers' signs are the same, when you multiply or divide them, it's going to be positive. And if they're not the same, it's going to be negative. So here's what I mean. If you have positive 3 times positive 4, I think you know that's going to be positive. That's going to be 12. Now, if you have a negative 3 times a negative 4, notice the signs match in the first example, and notice the signs match here in the second example. When you multiply two numbers that have the same sign, it's going to be positive. So negative times a negative is going to give you a positive. Okay? Now, same thing with division. If you have positive 4 divided by positive 7, obviously that's going to stay positive. However, if you have a negative 6 divided by negative 3, again, because the two numbers divided by each other have the same sign, it's going to be positive because negative over negative is going to be positive. So 6 over 3 is going to be 2. So positive times positive, negative times negative, positive divided by positive, negative divided by negative, they're all going to give you positive results. Now, when the two numbers multiplied or divided have different signs, the final result is always going to be negative. So if you have 7 times negative 3, positive times a negative is going to be negative. 7 times 3 is going to give you 21. And if you have, for example, negative 9 over positive 3, negative over positive is going to be negative, so that's going to be negative 3. So at the end of the day, the one thing to consider, or two things actually to consider, are if the signs are the same for both numbers, the final result and multiplying and dividing are positive. But if the signs don't match for the two numbers, the end result for multiplying or dividing is going to be negative. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's negative and positive rules for multiplication and division.